Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so I'm here right where I was when I finished off with the uh, the Weapon Master, and it might not seem like it based on the uh, the score. We only have 163 out of 500 possible points, but we're actually getting close to the um, to the end of the game, or at least we're getting to the point where we've done a lot of what we can do out here in the forest. So I'm going to start wrapping up a few loose ends. Uh, one thing I definitely want to do is uh, go to the place where you can go if you just go three screens east from the healer's house. That's one, two, three. Here we go to meet this big blue fellow. Far from the frost field fares forth this fighter. Hunger has hurled me hither from home. My name it is known in the Northlands as Bragi. Barter with ba blades clash or bargain with me. Apparently Broggy the Giant likes to speak in uh, in verse a lot, so let's see. Tell me about your uh, about your home, your home in the Viking Northlands. Near now is north, for the winter has wandered, bringing this brave one to barter so bold. I journey from Josenheim, home of the giants, source of all snowstorms, the sender of sleet. Jotunheim actually is the, uh, for those of you familiar with uh, Norse mythology, i.e. Odin, Thor, Ragnarok, Valhalla, all that. Jotunheim really is the land of the giants. So, somebody did a little bit of research for this game, apparently. Uh, what's this barter that you want? We, we need to, apparently, barter with this, uh, this fierce fighter from the north. Find me some fruit for to mellow my mead horn. Gift I will give of a gem that now glows. Jewel from Jotunheim, flare of the fr frost flame. Fetch to me fruit that will fill up my fists. It looks like it will take a lot of fruit to fill up those fists. Yeah, he's a big guy. Um, okay, so it becomes pretty apparent then that he wants fruit, first of all, and that he'll give us a glowing gem. And you probably already see where this is going. You might remember somebody asking us for a glowing gem. And I think you know where to get fruit. You should remember where to get fruit. Let me stop and talk to this guy. Uh, this guy has nothing to do with Bragi the Giant, but this guy is also important. We'll need to deal with him at some point, so let's take a look at him. Bruno hangs around the town gates. He'll sell information. Uh, hey, Bruno, what kind of information are you going to sell us? What's in it for me? If you give me a silver, I might have a bit of info you can use. All right, let's give him a, a silver. For another silver, I can tell you about where to go to find the Baron, Baba Yaga, or some goblins who have a lot of treasure. So if you want some information, hand me the cash. Alright. Uh, sure, let's give another silver. Okay, what do you want to know? The one thing we really need to get from this guy, it's not intuitive. If you haven't talked to him before, you might not know it. But the one thing that we do need to ask him about is um, Baba Yaga. Because this is, I think, the only place where we can get this information. She's an ugly hag who knows some magic. She lives in a weird house. Her place is due west of the Baron's place. Can't miss it. And for two gold, I'll tell you how to get into her hut. Okay, here's the key. We need to figure out how to get into her hut. So I'll give him two gold. I seen her one time yelling out to the house, Hut of Brown, now sit down. That's one spooky dame, let me tell you. For ten golds, I'll tell you where to find some of the robbers would have been robbing people coming into the valley. Okay, actually, we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to do that. Um, let me see. Can I get some other information out of him? Because uh, I can get. I can get a little bit of other information out of Bruno as well. Let me ask him about the goblins. Even though we already know where to find the goblins, maybe he'll have some interesting insight. Give me dough, you know. Okay, give him a silver. Okay, what do you want to know? Tell me about the goblins. The little pests are just northwest of the cemetery. They're a bunch of wimps. For gold, well, I can tell where the thieves' guild is hidden. Actually, we don't want to do that because he'll lie to us. He'll he'll lie and tell us uh, an inaccurate location of the thieves' guild. In fact, um, let me come back to that later because I don't want to get too much off on a tangent. If you want a good time, try the dragon's breath at the bar. Yeah, see, Bruno's not to be trusted. You know what happens if you drink the dragon's breath, you die. So, don't trust Bruno's information 100%, but what he told us about Baba Yaga is accurate. So, 
do hold on to that information and remember what he said about how to get into her hut because we'll need that. Okay, and you should remember this is the place where we get fruit, so let's buy some fruit. You carefully select ten of the best apples from the barrel and pay the lady a silver piece. Actually, uh, I guess the only way to know it is by trial and error, but if you want a satisfied Baragi the giant, you need 50 of these small apples. So I need to repeat that four more times, because you buy ten apiece. So, buy fruit, buy ten more, that should be 30, that's 40, there we go, that should be 50, let me check. Uh, complains that we're carrying too much, but that's okay, we won't have these apples very long. Yeah, we've got 50 small apples. So let's go and, you know, he runs a lot slower when he's overloaded. Luckily he won't be so terribly burdened down for too much longer. Let me speed up the game a bit, because that's just annoying. I hope we don't run into any monsters now, because we're not going to be able to run from the monsters very well if we're, we're this heavily loading, laden down. Okay, made it here without, uh, without any monsters, and the next screen will be Broggy again. Okay, so let's give the apples to our friend Broggy the Giant. Fruit you have found to fill all my food stores. Thus filled the bargain my gem you have bought. Broggy has bartered and all has been answered. The meat it may mellow and now I head home. Great, and he takes off and we'll never see him again. And I guess we can't follow, I don't think we can follow him. No, doesn't let you go up that way. Too bad. But yeah, if you check our inventory, now we have one glowing gem. Very nice. Nice, I like. Okay. And I still have time to go ahead and take care of some night work. It's, uh, let's see, what time is it now? It's mid-afternoon on day 15. Folks, let me show you a quick way to make it, uh, to make time pass if you need it to be nighttime for whatever reason, because there are a few things that you can only do at night. This is kind of a, uh, a silly, uh, silly thing, but this is uh, an effective way to make time pass. And I'm not sure you're supposed to do it this way, but oh well. Right now it's mid-afternoon. The next time increment will be uh, sunset approaches on day 15, and then after that it'll say the night is young on day 15. So basically we need to advance it two time increments, one to sunset approaches and another to the night is young. Then it'll actually be nighttime. So if you want to advance time by one increment, here's what you do. Go into the tavern and talk to Crusher the goon. Talk. Crusher. And first it says the goon seems to be ignoring you, but persist. Keep it up. As you ask him questions, the goon's eyes darken. Try talking to him a third time. Uh-oh, it looks like you got Crusher upset. And he throws us out. Now it should be sunset approaches. Yes, it is. Sunset approaches on day 15. So I'm going to go and do the same thing one more time ignoring us, his eyes darken, and then we get him mad. Puncha, puncha, puncha! And there we go. Now it's nighttime in Spielberg. Now, notice that when it gets night in this town, there is this interesting flashing light coming from, uh, from that alleyway there. That's something we'll need to explore. Well, I'm going to explore that in more depth in the next video. I'm going to save the game right now. It's, uh, night in the town and I'm going to explore the wonders of the night in the next video because there are some things that we can only do at night in this game and you'll see just what they are when we return to Let's Play Heroes Quest. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care.